Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course Aspects of Biochemical Engineering and we are, we are uh, last couple of lectures we try to discuss some problems that are associated with this uh, cell growth kinetics. <clears throat> we, we try to solve several uh, that numerical problems and we discuss uh, that initially we discuss the batch process then uh, how you can monitor the cell mass concentration and substrate concentration at different times. Then I try to discuss that uh, the head batch process, how you can find out the cell mass concentration, how you can increase the cell, cell mass concentration in the head batch reactor. And then <clears throat> in the last uh, lecture, I, I, I did some detailed analysis on uh, the chemostat process because chemostat is appears to be the most advanced process as far well biochemical industries are concerned. Now, this uh, lecture we want to because last lecture if you if you if you look into that mostly we give a gap stress on the substrate conversion with respect to cell mass formation and maybe other than cell mass that is the product formation. But here we, 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 con we also consider another very interesting term what you call maintenance of the cells that you know that uh, I, I told you that part equation that uh, deals with the maintenance of the cells that you know when cells uh, we, we keep it in a particular culture uh, they, 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 they move one place to others they require some kind of energy not only for the cell uh, when cells undergo some kind of rupture for the repairing of the cells we require some kind of energy. So, all this <coughs> that how the maintenance energy is used. So, these problems will deal with that uh, part. Let us see how we can solve this problem uh, by using uh, all the three factors. Now, we have come across three factors. One is your cell mass formation, your product formation and the maintenance of the cell. So, substrate is going for all the three purpose. Now, the first problem if you look into this is the gymomonas mobilis. I told you gymomonas mobilis uh, the, is kind of bacteria. Now, mostly the alcohol ethanol fermentation take place by using yeast cells, the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Now, scientists they are working uh, very hard how this, uh, this gymomonas mobilis can be used for ethanol fermentation because doubling time of gymomonas mobilis is much less as compared to the yeast cells. Now, this uh, gymomonas mobilis is used to convert the glucose to ethanol in a batch fermenter under the anaerobic conditions. The yield of biomass from the substrate is 0 0.006 gram per liter. And here I want to just point out that if you look at the aerobic conditions, the yield of biomass is very high, maybe 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 grams per grams. But anaerobic condition, it is uh, usually we have very less amount of cell mass formation. That is why this here it is 0 0.0, 0 0.6 gram per gram per gram. The product product yield the y, y p by x equal to 7.7 gram per gram. That means, 7.7 .7 gram of ethanol produced per gram of e cells, gram of bacterial cells. The maintenance coefficient is 2.2 gram per gram per, uh, per, uh, per hour that and uh, specific rate of product formation for maintenance is uh, is 1.1 .1 hour inverse and the max maximum specific growth rate of gymomonas mobilis is 0.3 hour inverse and 5 grams of bacteria is inoculated in 50 milliliter media containing glucose 12. gram per liter determine the batch culture time required to produce 15 grams biomass achieve the 90 percent substrate conversion and produce that 100 grams of ethanol. So, you know that the problem has three different parts. 
One is you have to find out to get the 15 grams per liter grams of biomass, uh, how much time is required in a batch process. Then you have to find out that to achieve the 90 percent substrate conversion, how much is, uh, that sub time is required. Then to produce 100 gram of ethanol, uh, that how much time is required. So, this uh, I consider this is a very interesting problem. Let us see how we can solve this problem. Now, uh, as, I, as, I, as I mentioned before that whenever we want to solve any problem, it is better to write what is the given data is given. What are the given data? Y x by s that is what you call say cell mass yield is 0 0.06 gram per liter gram, y p by x 0.77 gram per liter, maintenance coefficient is given, mu max is given, m p um, is the uh, uh, maintenance for the product formation x 0 value is given 0.5 gram per 50 milli milliliter and x 0 is 12 gram. Now, we know that in the batch culture this already we derive equal to ln x by x 0 by mu max. Now, x 0 value we can easily calculate the 5 gram was the initial cell mass concentration. Your culture volume is 50 milliliter. So, your um, your uh, your uh, cell mass concentration is coming around 0.1 gram per liter am I right and final cell mass concentration is 50 gram. So, divided by 50 that 0.3 gram per liter. So, here in this problem we have x value, we have x 0 value, we have mu max value. So, if you put all this value we can find out what is the time required for the batch process. Now, if you look at the second part that you know this is uh, the first part is to how what is the time required to get 50 grams of biomass. Second part is that to have the what is the time required to uh, get the 90 percent substrate conversion. Let us see how we can solve this. Now, for doing so first we shall have to do the substrate balance. Now, what is the substrate balance? Rate of input equal to rate of generation plus rate of output, rate of consumption and accumulation. Now, since this is a batch process, rate of input and rate of output that should be equal to 0 and generation also equal to 0, am I right? So, what we will be having that we have rate of substrate growth and rate of product formation and maintenance into, into V. That as I, as I pointed out before, we considered only the cell mass growth, am I right? Now, we are considering 3 portion uh, that is the uh, substrate is used for uh, uh, growth of the cells. One part is going for the product formation, the here is the ethanol, another part is uh, utilizing for the maintenance of the cells. So, you have to consider all the 3 parts and then this is the accumulation of the substrate. So, this, uh, this I can write like this um, that uh, uh, what is the uh, d s by d t uh, for uh, for for uh, cell growth, how you can calculate that is uh, I, I told you the d s by d t is equal to what? This is d s by d t I can easily write that d s by d x into d x by d t I showed you before also just, just repeating this is 1 x by s and this d x by d t is mu into x. The x I have taken common. So, mu into x divided by y x by s that will give you the substrate required for the cell growth. Now, similarly for the product, we can uh, we can also we, um, substrate used for the product, I can I can write the similar way d, the d x by d p into d p by d t, uh, I can I can write this. So, we, we uh, that you know that uh, we, that q q p q what is what is q p? q p is the specific product formation rate. What is specific product formation rate? 1 by x d p by d t am I right d p by d t. Now, d p by d t now divided by divided by y p by s y p by s equal to d p by d s the d p by d p will be d p will cancel the d s by d t the and if you multiply it by x then we will get the the substrate required for the for the product formation. Similarly, we can find out the substrate required for the maintenance of the cell. If you multiply by x, you will get the substrate required for the because we have we know that uh, rate of substrate that is utilized for the maintenance of the cells 
is proportional to what cell mass concentration. So, rate of substrate required for the maintenance will be equal to what equal 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 to m into x. That is, the, the x is the pro, the kind of constant what you call my Michael's maintain uh, what you call maintenance coefficient. This is the maintenance coefficient. So, this equation how is it has come, and and we have already cal calculated what is the x value. How you can calculate x equal to x zero x 0 e to the power mu max into t. I, we have shown you before, I am not showing you again here. So, this is what we can we can put it here and then this is equal to d s by d t. By rearranging the upper equation we get then we will we'll get this equation, final equation we will get this equation with the rearranging of this equation. Then we, we if we solve this equation, finally we will come in this equation e to the power mu max into T B equal to S0 minus S1 by by x by s q p y p by s mu max may m s by mu max into x0 plus 1. This is this is what we can we can find finally. But you can you can I hope you can solve by yourself and find this equation. Now, uh, that from that we can uh, if you look at this equation in the this uh, you can now you divide by T b you can easily calculate you can T b equal to 1 by mu max that L n this value then for 90 percent of substrate conversion that what is the S, S value that uh, 10 percent will remain that 1 gram per that uh, mm, If you, if you see that what is the S value is given 12, 12 gram per liter, am I right? 12 gram per liter. So, that uh, so here uh, we have done little mistake, this is uh, uh, no, uh, it is no mistake because this is this is actually that S 0 is 12, am I right? And this is equal to 0.5. So, you multiply that 1.2, this is okay, this is not a mistake. And then we we put the value. Different values are given in this problem, and Q P I can I can I I can assume uh, there to be constant because now in this problem, uh, if we assume this. Uh, this is equal to cell mass growth and uh, when when there is a in this equation you have three part am i right when you have uh, you have this is the cell mass growth and uh, and uh, and the another is the product formation and the maintenance since ethanol it produces coupled with the energy metabolism then we we consider qp equal to equal to 0 and in that case, the T p will be equal to uh, 5.68 hours. Now, rate of product for change formation can be written as the d d d p v by d t equal to q p into x into v v is constant that uh, d p by d t this we can write this is x x or again we can write in this form into v we can we can v uh, v will cancel am i right and then we rearranging this equation we will find this equation and d p will be integrating from p 0 to p and this will be the final equation and we will get this uh, equation in this form. Then T b equal to coming in this form, D b equal to uh, this form, this is coming. Then uh, uh, now, the specific rate of product formation can be this Q p equal to uh, this, this form, then uh, y p by x into mu max, uh, because uh, I, can, I can show you that uh, D p, this is D p by d t, this specific rate of equal to, this is what y p by x, y p by x means 
d p by d x. Am I right? D is at d x and this is mu equal to 1 by x d x by d t. So, d, this this will cancel. So, we can write specific rate, uh, rate of product formation and this is the maintenance uh, that is required during the uh, this product formation. So, we can write uh, this is the specific rate of product formation is like this and then um, we have uh, this equation and putting these values we can we will get the q p equal to 3.41 hours to teach you to achieve the 100 gram of um, this uh, ethanol the p equal to what 100 100 uh, divided by 50 milliliter is the culture the concentration will be 2 gram per liter p 0 equal to 0 then t b equal to i can i can put this equation in this equation if you put it is coming around 3.38 hours so i after 3.38 hours you will get the 100 grams of ethanol so all the all the three problems problems we can solve now in the next equation is little bit simpler i hope you understand this the steady state substrate and biomass concentration in a chemostat is given s0 is this and and calculate the mu max and k s and growth yield coefficient and this, this is the this is the true yield coefficient y dash x by s and the maintenance coefficient now up till now we didn't uh, discuss that how to determine the the true growth yield now what is true growth yield we up till now we come across the overall growth yield overall growth yield means gram of cell produced per gram of substrate consumed now when we say gram of cell produced it may comprise of both the viable cells and the dead cell, but you know that when you do, or you know that, but you know that uh, that uh, amount of cell mass that is produced, uh, that that uh, that uh, during that uh, a part also go for the maintenance of the cells, and also a part goes for the product formation also. So, but uh, when you say that we consider the true growth yield then the product only goes for the cell mass formation because how the when the, that uh, this is not used for maintenance or product formation that is called true growth yield so question comes how you can calculate the true growth yield and the maintenance coefficient of the this we have not discussed yet then let us see how we can solve this and another very inter interesting thing is that up till now the cell growth kinetics we try to estimate by using the batch process batch process uh, we, we find out that uh, at the first problem we, we, we solve that you know at different times we have cell mass concentration we have substrate concentration then we uh, from that we find out the mu value we find out the uh, 1 by mu and 1 by s value we plot the line of a bark plot and we determine that case and mu max value now same mm, the question comes uh, is it possible to estimate the kinetic constant by using chemostat answer is yes but now how it can be done because you know that uh, monod equation we know mu equal to mu equal to mu max s k s plus s am i right now under steady state condition and sterile feed mu equal to d now if mu equal to d i can write in the line over back plot this is 1 by d equal to k s by mu max 1 by s plus 1 by mu max am i right so the, now you can you can easily plot 1 by in place of 1 by mu i can plot 1 by d versus 1 by s so you can have a straight line we, from the slope we can find out uh, k s by mu max and for intercept we can 1 by mu max so so this we can easily find it out now this is exactly what we is done here this is uh, this is the monod equation that we have and under sterile condition and steady state mu equal to d then we can write in this form then then we can, we have 1 by s value and 1 by mu value we can take in a graph paper simple centimeter graph paper we can plot uh, this and from the intercept from the intercept we can find out from the intercept we can find out the value of 1 by mu max and from the slope we can from slope we can find out the value of k s by mu max and then we can find out both the value of mu max and k s we can calculate from this uh, from this plot now question comes how you can determine the 
the maintenance coefficient because you know that is uh, that is important. So, so um, for maintenance coefficient, if you look at the part equation, what is the part equation we have seen? That is one by y x by s. This is overall. Am I right? This is equal to one by y x by s. Yeah, this is true growth yield. True. Uh, true growth yield means I, I told you that when substrate is used for only for the cell mass formation, this is into m by mu. Am I right? Now, if you plot y x by s overall versus 1 by mu, then you will get a straight line. Slope will give you the value of m. Am I right? And this intercept will give you the value of y x by s true, true growth yield you can easily find. Out. What you call, we sometimes we consider as the y x by dash, dash, y x by s dash. This is true growth yield. So, we can find out these values. Now, this equation exactly we have written in this form this is uh, 1 by x, uh, this uh, this is like this and uh, this uh, mu we replace by uh, d and uh, then uh, then we can we can have this uh, table, we can we can write this table from this uh, data that we have from the we can data we can write this table. And then we can plot uh, here we have the plot of uh, 1 by y by x versus 1 by d. If we plot it, uh, then we will get uh, this intercept slope will give you the value of maintenance coefficient and intercept will give you this. Now, maintenance coefficient will be 0 0.0019 hour inverse and yield coefficient will be 0 0.5. This we can easily and this yield coefficient this is called growth yield. Growth yield is uh, what do you call true growth yield. When substrate is used only for cell mass growth, it is not used for neither maintenance nor uh, the product formation, then we call it true growth yield. And this remains always constant. For a particular organism, this should remain constant. Okay? Now, next problem, I, I, hold, I, I, I hope that uh, this problem is a typical problem that two chemostat system is used for producing the secondary metabolites. We know the secondary metabolites that uh, usually the most of the secondary metabolites form during the stationary base you can you know that and the volume of the each reactor is 0 0.5 cubic meter. 0 0.5 cubic meter means how much? 0 0.5 cubic meter means how much? This is 1 cubic meter is 1000 liter, the 1.5 is 500 liter am I right. So, the flow rate is 50 liter per hour. The mycelia growth occur in the first reactor and second reactor is used for the product synthesis. The concentration of the substrate in the feed is 10 gram per liter. The kinetics and yield parameters of the organisms are y x by s k s mu max q p and y p by s is given here. Assume the Product synthesis is negligible in the first reactor, growth is negligible in the second reactor. Determine the cell and substrate concentration entering in the second reactor. What is the overall substrate conversion? What is the final concentration of product? So, so what is the what is the what is the what is the problem? Because you know, let me explain the problem so that you know the problem is like this. We have two reactor. This is one, and this is two. This is like this. So we have a starter here, and here we have a starter here. Am I right? Then this is liquid, and this is coming like this. And <coughs> this is the starter. And here, this volume is 500 liter, and this is also. 
500 liter. Both capacities 500 liter. Now, here only the cell formation is there and here only the product formation is there. That is the assumption we have. So, we can assume here cell formation. So, here this is x 0 and this is x. So, whatever x is there or x 1 and here also it is x 1 because we assume that uh, no, uh, no cell mass formation is there and here also there is a no here here p, p 0 is this is also p 0. So, here will be p 1 only the product formation is there. So, this is this is the how this problem uh, that we, have, um, we still have to uh, deal with. So, wh what are the parameters are given? What are the parameters are given? This uh, uh, volume is 0 0.5 cubic meter flow rate is uh, 50 liter per hour, S 0 is 10 gram per liter, 10 gram per liter we can write 10 kg per cubic meter and y x by s is 0 0.5 kg per kg, k s is 1 kg per cubic meter, mu max is 0 0.13, q p is given and this is given. Now, what is the dilution rate? I can write this is the flow rate 50 liter, 50 liter per hour and 500 milliliter, so 0 0.1 is the dilution rate. From that we can easily find out the S 1 value, S 1 value is equal to k s into d divided by mu max minus d. So, this is 5 kg per cubic meter. Similarly, we can find out the cell mass concentration if we assume x 0 equal to 0, this equal to 0. If we assume then we can find out x 1 value, it is coming about 2.5 kg per cubic meter, am I right? Now, so, so, uh, so in this problem the second reactor it is assumed that no cell growth I can write, write x 1 x 1 equal to x 2 that is 2.5 kg per cubic meter. The substrate balance in the second reactor how we can write the rate of substrate input my f into s 1 and uh, rate of generation will be 0. Then rate of uh, substrate output f into s 0 rate of substrate consumption into volume. So, this we can write in this form that the rate of product formation and then we can write the S 2 value. S 2 value is coming around 3.3 gram kg per cubic meter. So, what will be the final uh, overall conversion of the process? Initially, we have uh, we have uh, 10 gram per liter, finally it is coming 0 0.3, 10 minus 0 0.3 by 10 that is 97 percent. Now, uh, so that the next post, post problem is that what is the final product concentration? The product balance in the second reactor is f into p, f into p 0, d p by d t into p into f p. Am I right? Now, if it is like this, then the p 0 we can assume to be 0 and then this equal to this and this all values are given, flow rate and q p x 2 and v value is given. So, we can easily find out final product concentration is not very difficult. So, in this particular uh, lecture what I uh, try to analyze, I try to analyze that uh, in a particular uh, bio biochemical process that you know three things simultaneously take place. When substrate is consuming that your cell mass formation is there, your product formation also there and maintenance of the cells. Are there. Now, when you when when all the three things are involved in this process, how you can take care uh, to find out uh, the uh, different parameters in the system. So, uh, in the in the previous lecture we, we showed you how we can find out the kinetic constant like mu max and k s value. Now, in this particular lecture I try to uh, uh, tell you not only uh, k s and mu max value in the, uh, um, but also how you can calculate the value of true growth yield also maintenance coefficient and also why you try to find out that uh, how you can calculate the product for concentration in the particular reactor final product concentration how we can find out. Thank you very much.